How's it going folks? Now, before I start today's video, let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever seen me wear these right here? Sunglasses. I typically never wear them for one reason. It, the the smally spotters, for me, they look a little bit goobish. Almost as goobish as I look filming myself in a parking lot next to a car. I don't know if there's a kid's soccer practice or what's going on, but I got soccer moms coming at me every 30 seconds, minute or so, parking in this lot. So, real quick, had a very busy day today. I'm gonna try to film every day. I'm not gonna say I'm daily vlogging, but I'm gonna try to put out as much videos as possible in the next couple months, couple weeks, whatever it may be. Big changes to the channel, I'll get into that in the coming weeks. However, today, only have a couple hours to fish, so I'm going to one of my favorite little ponds, but I'm doing something different. I'm not just gonna fish the pond. I talked in the past about fishing big worms during the spawn because fish are protective, stuff like that of their nests, or they're either hungry going to spawn. So I'm gonna be sticking with these guys right here today. Big 10 inch worms. I'm gonna use this with a quarter ounce tungsten, a four out offset hook. Just flip this around the small pond and see if these small pond fish that never ever see 10 inch worms or big baits in general, see how they feel about these 10 inch worms. All right, so while I'm walking through this field hoping not to get a tick or five, I didn't really mention why I've got the OG smallie spotters on or largey spotters in this circumstance. It's because like I said, I think these fish might be bedding. It'd be cool if I could actually see them with my glasses. I typically have pretty good eyesight, but it's very bright, sunny and windy out here. So I'm thinking the glasses might help. I'm gonna stop being stubborn and use sunglasses for once in my life. Maybe I can find large marge on a bed, who knows? All right, so I've been to this pond before, this small little pond. I know there's a culvert in the corner. I love giving you guys tips. I love sharing what I know about fishing. That's why I'm one of the big reasons I made this channel. Big thing about pond fishing, there's a culvert here in the corner. There's usually always fish in culverts, especially in this pond. Cast from a distance. An easy way to pick up a fish or two very quickly is to stay really far from the bank and cast at whatever target you're casting at, a lay down, a culvert, anything like that from far away. Like I said, I got a big, big old 10 inch worm, quarter ounce tungsten, and I'm gonna stay far away and cast at this culvert. Maybe there's a fish here. Maybe I'm just talking for no reason. All right, well my tip still remains, but there is far too much muck that got blown in here for there to really be a fish here, but I don't know, maybe. Yeah, see, typically I like casting in front of this culvert, but it's all muck right now. I wish I had a frog in this, these weeds. I was expecting to see beds, but I don't, I'm not sure if these fish are spawning quite yet. But it is very weedy. Like, there's just muck everywhere. I bet you they'd crunch a frog. This whole bay is just littered with these little muck piles. All right, I'm doing recon at this pond. I haven't been here in quite a while. That's a bed right there. That little gravel circle. That's a bed with nothing on it. So these fish have been spawning. I'm gonna cast this worm on top of the muck and work it kind of like a frog. Oh, see that? Had a fish swim in it like a frog stole my worm. I gotta really let him eat it if I'm gonna try to hook him like that. Whew, that was cool. Problem with these big 10 inch worms is, I mean, when, when you're bouncing the worm on the bottom, most are gonna eat it head first because that's how they typically eat their prey, head first. But when you're swimming it on the surface like that, they're just gonna hit whatever they can grab. All right, let's try again. No taker on that one. I saw that fish swim out from under that muck pile after he hit it, of course. There's a bass, I don't know, I can see. It's a pretty good sized fish. Oh, started bringing it off his bed. Bass are gonna be very hard to pearl off their beds. God, look at all those bubbles he took off after he ate this thing. 
I'm actually not sure if he was on a bed. Oh, he's nosing on it. He attacked it. All those bubbles. Oh, oh playing with these males is so fun. This fish is hot. He does not like this worm on his bed. He's picked it up twice now, but just picking up the tail. Again, these big profiles, these fish hate when you put something big in their bed and you get it on that sweet spot. Big worms, big swim baits, big craws. They do not like it because they see it as a threat. They're trying to protect their nest. This male is still cruising all over the place. He doesn't like my worm on his bed, but shocker. But I've already swung and missed on him twice. There are bigger fish to fry. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm actually just gonna check over here a tiny, oh, there's a really big bass right there. I'm just gonna check over here a little bit and then go to the other shoreline that's out of the wind. And I can hopefully sight fish a lot better. Yeah, I know. I forgot you could pick me up from Putin Bay. Yeah, the only thing is, it pretty much equals out. Like the very constant. Hold on, Jack. I got one. Huh? I got one. Hold on. I'm talking to Jack. First fish on this 10 inch worm. She smoked it right when it hit the water. 10 inch eh? Yeah, Jack. I'm fishing the 10 inch worm today. See, this pond bass can eat a worm that's over half the size of their body because like anything else, they eat it head first. Thank you, girl. Or boy, I should say. That's a little male. Looks like it could have been guarding. Good start. I'm in touch. I'll All right. Out. All right. Bye, Jack. All right. See ya. Whenever Jack seems to call me, I seem to get on some fish. We were, I might go fish Lake, he's got a house on Lake Erie. Might go fish with him soon. Regardless, caught the first fish on the 10 inch worm. That's good news. Not sure if that fish was on a bed or not. Could have been because it hit within a second or two of me casting onto it, but that's a good start. I'm gonna keep walking to areas that are not as windy so that I can sight fish a lot better because I'm seeing a lot of fish cruising on beds, etc. one lost him <sighs> lost a big one right over there he thumped it hard I set the hook saw his body big swirl big is in like four pounds let's keep it relative here Illinois pond you get a four pounder that's a big one there's fives and sixes but a four is a big one I've almost been considering moving ponds to a pond that's like a little bit deeper, probably warmed up slower because almost all of these fish are very spooky in guarding beds. And I, I don't really like messing with bedding fish. I brought these worms to be prepared for them, but these fish seemingly are all spawning. Because there's a bed every 10 feet or so. A lot of them have been very spooky, you know, not wanting to really eat, get very skittish. I can't see that well in this water, so they can see me before I can see them even with the wind. If I were to actually fish this on beds, a 10 inch worm is a great bait for beds. However, when fish typically eat something, they eat it head first. When they just want to pick it up and move it off their beds, they might hit it anywhere. And I think that's my problem. If I had a stinger hook midway down the worm somewhere like right there, I think I'd be pinning all these fish, but I don't have a stinger hook. And I'm missing almost all the fish I'm trying to pin on this worm, so. Going to try to go to another pond and see if I can make this 10 inch worm work there. Hopefully better than it's working here. Alrighty, I'm at the new pond now. Water's a lot dingier. I hope not as many fish are going to be on freaking beds here. That's my hope. There's a lot like muckier of scum here too. There's one. 
Score! Looks like a decent one too. Just pitched in a big weed gap. And this guy wanted some. Another decent fish. Looks like another smaller male. Definitely not a female or anything like that. But another good fish on the 10 inch worm. I know Bama Bass is big on 10 inch worms. They're not just for big 8, 9, 10 pounders in Abilama. Little pond bass in Illinois will hit them just as well. Pretty sure he preaches that as well. That not just big fish eat this bait, but just another example. Alrighty folks, I'm kind of done pond fishing these worms. I'm not giving up, but I'm giving up. We got you know, sunsets nearing us, but I just have no confidence. It's not the it's not the bait. It's not the bait at all. The bait's fine. Ten inch worm is great. I've caught fish on it. It's just the ponds. They're in such a weird funk right now. I've seen a lot of empty beds in each of these ponds, and the fish that are still on beds have been guarding for a while. They're not as aggressive. They're kind of finicky. The females are nowhere in sight, and they're recovering. I'm making excuses. I'll see you back in the car. So right off the bat, you're confused. I'm in a weird setting. I'm not in my car. Uh, I took a phone call yesterday walking back. Forgot to film this outro. Anyways, it's the next day. I'm at my dad's work helping him out right now. He just got a heat treating welding place if you guys are interested. However, I didn't want the video to end off like that. This was a very just relaxed, chill pond fishing video. It's gonna be my last pond fishing video for a while because I'm going to transition this channel and everything differently you know I love fishing I love sharing my passion I love sharing it with you guys what I've noticed in the last month or two I've been busy with school a lot of different things I've just kind of been I haven't taken my channel as seriously as I as I wanted to but that is going to change you know this has just been a simple chill fishing channel I go out I go fishing I film it try to give you guys tips and enjoyment along the way but I'm gonna change that a little bit I'm still gonna go fishing like this channel is still a fishing channel but I'm gonna change it a little bit. So I'm gonna carve out a little bit of a niche because you guys can go watch GoPro and big camera videos of fishing pretty much anywhere. I wanna do something different. I wanna separate myself a little bit from the other fishing YouTubers because there's a lot of them and a lot of people are doing some really cool stuff. Most people have something that makes them a little different. I've never really had that. I've kind of just been a fisherman. So what I'm gonna do this summer is hopefully gonna change this channel for the better. I'm going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff that I'm super stoked to start and bring to you guys. It's all gonna start within a week or two and should hopefully be a summer long of this, this new content that I'm gonna bring you guys. I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm not gonna talk about it yet. All I'm gonna say is I'm extremely excited to do it. I'm about to leave Chicago in a couple days and that's it, I'm, it's just gonna be me for the summer. Most times I might collaborate, but, but I'm gonna buy an air mattress and I might just travel around with my truck and my boat and film these really cool videos that I just have so many ideas for. So I like, I cannot wait to start on this and, and really start and see where I can take this YouTube channel and do something unique and different to myself and the things I'm interested in. So I know that was a little ambiguous and vague, but that's how I'm gonna leave it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for awesome, awesome content in the future.